Hello everyone. In this talk, I will give you an overview of our work on now casting solar photovoltaics output based on satellite images. PV output is one of the biggest source of uncertainty regarding national grid forecasts. In fact, there are many solar plants operating in the UK. However, since power supply must always match the demand, national grid keeps natural gas generators ramped down. And this enables them to ensure that the grid isn't affected by sudden changes in climatic conditions. However, this means that even if we have enough PV power to match the demand, we still have natural gas generators that are kept spinning for nothing, and this results in high costs and high CO2 emissions. So, if we can predict PV power by even one or two hours ahead, we could actually significantly reduce costs and emissions. In this work, we are investigating deep learning approaches that can be used to now cast PV output. We are using three different datasets satellite images, historical PV output, and metadata. Satellite images consist in 12 different channels recorded every 5 minutes with a resolution of 2 km square per pixel. The region of interest is the UK. For the historical PV output data, we are mainly interested in around 500 different sites after processing the data. The dataset can be seen as a big matrix where each row corresponds to time and each column corresponds to a different location. The value corresponds to the PV output. Finally, we have the metadata, which is additional data that we found uh, quite important and include clear sky regions, location, time, and PV metadata. So we want to now cast PV output using deep learning approaches. How does that work? We have some input data or features that we feed into a deep learning model, and we then train this model to output some prediction. The features that we are currently using are satellite images from HRV channel, historical PV data, time, and clear sky radiance. We are training our model using one year of data from five different sites, and we are keeping 20% of the data for testing. We are mainly interested in prediction between 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. We describe here the overall architecture of our best model. First, we have two convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, which take as input a satellite image at time t minus 1 and a satellite image at the current time t. The CNNs don't sample the images and feed their output into a first set of fully connected layers, or FC. Our hope is that this first set of FC is able to learn interactions between the two images, like for example, the movement of clouds. This first set of FC then feeds its output, together with additional data, into a second set of fully connected layers, which finally outputs the prediction at time t plus p. We then compare the prediction results of our best model with several baselines and more advanced models. The x-axis shows the prediction horizon, or time, between 5 minutes and 2 hours. The y-axis describes the relative root mean square error, which measures the errors of the models. It's a value between 0 and 100, and the lower the score, the better the model. We can see that for short-term prediction, all the models perform equally well. However, as time increases, our model becomes much more efficient. You can see here a visualization of our results for five minutes prediction in winter and in summer for five random days. In red, you can see the prediction of our best model, and in blue, you can see the ground truth. The x-axis represents time, and the y-axis represents PV power. We show here the same results, but for prediction horizon of one hour. To conclude, we have shown that our proposed model outperforms baselines and more advanced models. 
we have also shown that satellite images enable to improve predictions. Some future work will include adding additional features or trying to improve our current best model using CNN LSTM architecture. Finally, we also want to try different approaches like predicting the next image using an autoencoder. Thank you very much for watching.